This is the third generation BMW X3 facelift. And in this video, we are going to see what all changes has BMW done to its global bestseller. But before we start the video, let's just take a few moments to appreciate our test car spec, which is finished in this beautiful color of Brooklyn Grey Metallic. Also, before we discuss the front, it's important to note that this is an M Sport version, an M Sport kit. It's important because in the pre LCI, the pre facelift, it never had an M Sport. So, it's a good thing that BMW India has finally introduced and giving an M Sport in the 30i. So, the changes up front are the headlamps, which are now sleeker and flatter than before. The double kidney grills are now higher or more upright and surrounded by a one piece metal frame and finally the bumper which is very aggressive thanks to the m sport treatment and uh, we see a lot of shadow line uh, you know there in the x line there is a matte silver which is something of uh, this finish whereas this is a proper uh, gloss black treatment thanks to the m sport kit i would highly recommend if you are getting this color do also change the grill to gloss black the m performance grill Globally, the X3 is offered with three headlight options. The base LED, then there is an adaptive LED, and finally, there are the laser headlamps. In India, we get the adaptive LEDs. Because this is a facelift model and not an all-new generation, the wheelbase of this LCI remains the same. If we are talking about the changes at the side, it's clearly visible, as I said. This LCI now offers an M Sport kit. So, a good amount of M badging can be seen, some shadow line treatment out here and the window trims in high gloss black and the other visible maximum differentiation for the LCI are these M spec rims which are in 19 inch uh, but however the pre-booking customers who have pre-booked their X3s do get 20 inch as standard. The easiest giveaway that this is a facelifted LCI X3 are these pincer claw shaped tail lamps. I truly feel that they are adding a good amount of aggressive nature for the X3 from the rear. Uh, the overall M Sport treatment continues with a aggressive rear bumper, a very sporty diffuser, again finished in uh, high gloss black or you can say shadow line treatment. And a good thing is that we have proper exhaust tips which are functional and uh, it's, you really got to appreciate BMW uh, sticking to their roots with this one. And these exhaust tips are restyled too for the 2022 X3. <laughs> so this is the third generation G01 platform X3 in its facelift form. And uh, this is the successor to the F25. So the G01 chassis was introduced back in 2017 as an all new generation and right now in 2022 we are driving the lci it's important to note that this generation which is the g01 platform x3 is actually based on the clar platform and uh, that platform actually underpins almost all of uh, the latest generation bmw models be it uh, the g20 or up to the g11 g12 7 series as well. Also, as I said in the start, that this is not an all new model, but a facelift of the original third generation 2017 G01 chassis. Hence, there is no change in the platform or the chassis and it continues to retain its nomenclature being a G01 X3. So, the engine we are driving today is the 2 litre 4 cylinder 30i motor which BMW internally codename it as the updated B48 engine 
एंड आई थिंक द फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी ऑफ दिस मोटर थ्रू आउट इट्स रेवरेंज इज इट्स स्ट्रॉन्ग पॉइंट आई पर्सनली ओन एंड स्टिल ओन द ओरिजिनल टू लीटर फोर सिलेंडर इंजन फ्रॉम द बी एम डब्ल्यू स्टेबल इन द फॉर्म ऑफ थ्री ट्वेंटी एट आई विच वॉज द ओरिजिनल एन ट्वेंटी इंजन एंड दैट इंजन हैड एक्चुअली रिप्लेसड द सिक्स सिलेंडर लाइन अप ऑफ द ई नाइनटीज इन द एफ थर्टी एंड दो इट्स इट डज रिमाइंड मी ऑफ माई कार बट समहा इट फील्स मच स्ट्रॉगर इन इट्स बी फोर्टी एट फॉर्म द मिड रेंज इज स्ट्रॉगेस्ट विथ एन एक्साइटिंग रेड लाइन एंड इवन दो देर इज अ बिट ऑफ लैग फॉर वट एवर रीजन विच इट इज वेरी नेग्लेजिबल बट इट इट मेक्स यू कंप्लीटली फर्गेट अबाउट इट एंड आई वुड रियली से दैट दिस मोटर इज यू नो फीलिंग मच मोर देन द टू फिफ्टी टू हॉर्स पावर वॉट इट इज uh the factory coated figure however the disappointment is that uh, this is only having approximately 350 newton meters i say disappointment because the 30i motor in the g20 chassis 3 series has 400 newton meters so i really don't have any understanding of why bmw have undertalked this oh could you repeat that please uh, no well that was the bmw assistant so i was saying that uh, i don't know why bmw india have not given 400 newton meters it's not only about bmw india but globally it's 350 newton meters for whatever reason so that is a downer for me and i really feel that this should have had 400 newton meters considering its overall body style and added weight with the x-ray coming to the gearbox this is the familiar zf 8 speed unit which is always performing its duties with passion it is always in synergy with that engine up front and uh, really no complaints with this 8 speed unit no wonder bmw has uh, sort of standardized this gearbox across its entire uh, you know model lineup right from the 3 series to the higher models as well a quick mention about the sound insulation of this car as well it's a very quiet place this cabin and uh, it makes uh, the x3 feel uh, like a much more premium or uh, you can say it does belong in this segment and uh, genuinely uh, more than decent job done by bmw on this front finally to conclude this segment i would like to ask bmw that where is the 20d i know it will eventually come but the next question will be where is the six cylinder diesel which it gave in the previous generation f25 x3 and finally because the m340i was launched in the g20 chassis will the x3 m40i also come those answers really need to be answered that will really help a lot of folk who are considering the x3 uh, in india to make the correct buy decision or maybe wait it out to buy the correct engine for their needs the suspension lineup in the x3 range globally i believe there are three setups there is a base then there is a sport and then there is an adaptive out here in india we get the adaptive dampers and uh, by adaptive dampers it is not really altering the height but the stiffness based on the comfort or the sport modes which you select out here let's speak about the sport first with all truthfulness this generation x3 with these dampers in sport mode <laughs> feels like a heightened g20 3 series and uh, though it may feel a bit exaggerated that how can you handle as good as a 3 series you are an suv but it 
it is very similar and thanks to that x drive which is sort of a rare biased x drive not as rare biased as the m performance models but it is still a 4060 split giving a good amount of uh, you can say rare biasedness when you are exiting corners with the dsc off and uh, will help you get that smile even with an x drive so that is a compliment which the x3 has earned with the help of the x drive system so the handling remains an attraction a u sort of a usp for the x3 but personally speaking i think the comfort board is extremely balanced it's not the x3 doesn't handle badly in comfort board but the way it rides is something to speak about and uh, we need to understand that it doesn't really have so called high profile tires it's still running on a 50 profile setup on 19 inch rims and the ride quality is genuinely truly impressive we do have to remember that we are running on run flats so the ride quality uh, will definitely not be as good but these are new generation run flats and uh, they are doing a more than decent job in uh, providing that cushion with that run flat characteristic however i can imagine because i always recommend to switch from uh, run flats to proper tubeless i can really visualize how this car would ride on proper say michelin pilot sport 4 suv tires and uh, that would really be something else so again a top tip swap the tires to anyone who has spent time in one of the recent bmw interiors this will be a very familiar place to be in the interior is dominated surely by this 12.3 inch uh touch screen i drive screen or a gesture control screen whatever way you put it but thankfully they have retained the knob and uh, which we really love and uh, as we speak about the i drive it's important to say that this is the i drive 7 and uh, again most of the enthusiasts globally are preferring the i drive 7 and not the i drive 8 Uh, also another giveaway that this is not having the i drive 8 is because it's not having the new generation screen uh, which is almost like the mercedes the door pads have extremely good finish a uh, good amount of uh, play of materials and uh, soft touch wherever it's required it is present and doesn't disappoint and uh, surely it belongs to the segment it is uh, positioned in i love uh, the fact that there is an x out here you can see it uh, out there as well there is a humming garden system i believe it should be a uh, similar 16 speaker 464 watt system which is there in my m340i it's not a great system but it's good enough uh, and uh, i would have loved a little more bass uh, in this system next up is this control handling which is very familiar to the g20 chassis 3 series which is the current generation 3 series also the gear selector has been carried over from that generation so wireless charger has been omitted and it will stay omitted till march uh, that is what i have been um, told by bmw india as well as the dealership and uh, eventually after the march production uh, because of the semicon chip shortage this will be eventually added back in so this is just uh, a disclaimer for people who are buying the x3 or interested in buying the x3 so comprehensively this is a very balanced luxurious and a typically sporty bmw interior the rear seats are spacious enough for your family at the same time it's uh, definitely uh, understandable that the outer seats are more comfortable the armrest uh, seems to be well positioned and it does also have a latch which you can access items for the boot 
uh, and also probably place the longer items from the boot into the cabin. The wheelbase allows decent legroom and it is surely better than the previous generation F25. However, I would like to say the highlight of the cabin for the rear passengers is this large panoramic sunroof which brightens up the interior and gives a sense of extra spaciousness for the rear passengers. So finally to conclude things, it would be fair to say that BMW have hit the sweet spot in modernizing both the exteriors and interiors of the 2022 X3 to help it stay competitively relevant in the market today with a decent price to performance ratio but most importantly an unrivaled driving experience and on that note thank you for watching